Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for you. Hope you're all doing well. Crafting, watching, whatever today finds you doing. I pray you are well. Um, I've got a couple things I want to do in the way of shaker tags. Um, or shaker cards or however you want to um, look at them or whatever way you want to make them. Um, this is a card that I had made um, out of watercolor. So this is watercolor paper. And then I made this one the way Meg showed us on her channel, Chasing Retro. And what she did was just put like acetate sew it and then she filled it with stuff like sequins and things and then sewed the top part shut so that it would be encapsulated in there sorry if there's a glare so that was her way of doing it and I thought that was looked really easy and so I wanted to give that a try now then I did this one and I made some confetti out of um, red metallic cardstock, I guess it was. And I put it inside this tag, which has a laminated leaf in it. So I thought I was going to um, make another one and just kind of show you how I did this one. So for this one, I needed two pieces of paper, one for the front and one for the back. Um, I think I will do the same for this one. I will use one, this for the front, and then grab another one for the back so that the leaf actually shows up. And uh, I don't have any more confetti right now. I'll have to see what I can do about that. I may have a way to make some. All right, so the tag can be that size i'll just trace it so i can cut it paper is not very thick. I'm just wondering if I should double it up. Maybe I will. I mean, I guess it doesn't really have to be thick because we're getting, we're getting three layers in here. That layer and then the back yet. Okay, so I'm just going to stick with one. Now for it to be, for the leaf to be visible, we have to cut a hole in here. I don't have a metallic ruler, so I'll just use that one. And I roughly have it in the middle. So if I, I'll just try winging it, see what happens. I need about an inch clearance at the top. And I need a little bit on the side. I might clean it up with my um, craft knife. Ah, 
that's not too bad, but could be better. Let's see how close. Not bad. If I go a little more on that side, it should be okay. I don't always get a nice straight edge when I use my utility knife or my craft knife either, so. Probably why I don't use it very often. It's kind of wobbly. I wouldn't have to make a tag out of this, but it's kind of the right shape for it, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Yeah, that will work. And then just gotta get that fuzz off of there. I was working with fabric before, so probably still some on my desk. Okay, so before I do anything else, I want to remember to ink it. I tend to always forget that step. And it's kind of plain, so what I might do is, um, Add some stamping to it. All right, I've got my grunge stamps. Maybe this one. I just want something on there so it's not so plain. Okay, so then this one goes behind, and I want to ink the outside as well. Do I want to make it a tag? I'll have to ink it some, I'll have to cut it down and ink it some more later. Now, honestly, I will sew this one because it's uh, laminate. And I don't know what, I mean, you could have special glue for plastic and that would work and be fine. Um, up to you entirely. If you have that, great. If you want to sew it, then we're going to do it something. Okay, I've got two different um, ways I can back this. I can do it on the gold and green. It's glaring a lot, so pardon me while I just... And there's some purple. I don't mind that. Or there's this one. I don't really like that. I mean, it's okay for something else probably, but... All right. So that's gonna be the very back and that will be the inside. So I'm just going to place this on here. And cut this out.
right. So at this point, at this point, I would sew it. And I would sew it, well, if you want a tag shape, you have to do that first. Otherwise, you'll sew the, um, you'll sew into the corner and then you won't be able to make a tag. Do that. And have to line that up again, like so. And hope that worked. Yes, but it worked pretty well. All right, so then I'm going to take this, my sewing machine, and sew this. And uh, I'll be right back after I do that. Okay, so I sewed the outside edges except on the top. That'll be fun to write on, I think. Feels kind of leathery. All right, so for um, for something to float inside, I do have some sequins, but I think they're the wrong color. So what I was thinking, I have this really bright stuff here. And too, I've got a whole bunch of confetti in here. I don't know if it would, if it would work. Maybe, I've got some shiny stuff in there, some stuff with letters. All right, so. So some of it's white on the back, so I'm gonna try to flip most of it to the colored side because um, there's not much room in here for things to turn around. So if I can get it to the right, right side up, I think that will look better. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I would probably think this idea seemed like a good one to me at the time because of... Um, well, because of it being fall, and when I think of the rustling of the leaves, I don't know, I think maybe that would um, sound like the shaking, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. The other day I was walking down the street and um, I kind of got freaked out because it was dark and there was no one around, but I heard rustling and it was the leaves. All right, so here I have to decide, do I want the confetti in front of the leaf or behind? So you're free to do whatever you like. I think I'm gonna put mine behind again. So, Again, this is the hard part because if it flips going in, it won't be, it won't be showing up yellow. Some of these have already flipped. Oh, I guess there'll be some white in there too. Okay, I'm just going to throw the rest in. Obviously, that's going to be the, the most um, 
labor intensive thing about this. You want to be careful you don't um, tear the sewing. And yeah, there's not a lot of room in there. There we go. Okay, so let's see if it even works. Yeah, it's not very loose in there. I'll give it that. It's kind of... I don't know, glitter and sequins might be the way to go because they probably will move around better. Live and learn. It still shows up even if it's a little bit trapped in there, so. Okay, I'm gonna go sew this shut and I'll be back. It moves, but not very easily, so. Okay, then I don't know, I kind of feel like I want some more gold on here. They're actually a lot of fun to make. They look really cute too. Maybe not on camera, but in person it looks really nice. Okay, so I'm just going to trim the, the back. That's better. So then, I don't know, I still feel like it needs a little more grunge. Because the back feels like leather from the um, jelly plate. And so the front kind of looks like leather. And we just need something up top there. Oh, I know. I got this the other day at the thrift store. A bow might look nice. That would match the gilding at least. All right, so I need about a foot. And I'm gonna trim this edge off. smaller I think do anything else on there Yeah, something like that. Okay. There we go. All right, so this one is definitely a little more labor intensive, but it is my preferred method. So give it a shot and see which one you like to do. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.